It's an unseasonably cool and windy day today, which makes it a perfect day for hauling round bales. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Now I actually don't need this tractor to load and move hay, but I need to borrow my dad's tractor and he needs a tractor today. So today we're gonna switch. He's gonna run mine and then I'm gonna use his with the loader on it. You ready to haul some hay bales? All right, let's go do it. I figured the easiest way to do this was to just park my truck out here in the field and I'll drive my tractor over to my dad's shop, get his tractor, bring it back, and then I've got all the equipment where I need it to be. We got the big new haul and speared up. It's time to get to work. I was only able to fit 11 bales on the trailer and the reason is is that these fenders are in my way and last year I tried hanging the bales over the fender well what ended up happening is the fender would like bend down and rub on the tire and I ended up blowing out a tire I'm not sure if it was directly because of that or if the tire was just old but either way I don't think uh, re resting the bales on the fender is the way to go this fender is actually not in terrible shape the one on the other side has a crack in it and it just doesn't work. First load. How many new viewers are looking at that tractor and saying, no way that's gonna pick up round bales.
load number one. Now we just got to do that about 30 more times. I've got load four here on the trailer and as I've been loading these bales and unloading these bales, I just can't help but feel like these loads are very small. It's going to be so many trips back and forth from the field to the barn to get this done. If I had a flatbed, I could fit like six bales on the back of the truck. But the more I got to thinking about it, even without the flatbed, I think I can get three in the bed of this truck. Well, I would certainly never take this down the highway, but I think for going slow down some back country roads, this is gonna be all right. And for every four loads I make, it's like I'm getting a load for free. So I think it's worth it. Made it back here to the ranch safe and sound. And actually this was not as sketchy as I thought it was going to be. I didn't feel like the truck, the truck was tippy or anything like that. Granted, I'm driving like an old man, which doesn't hurt, but yeah, I think this is the way we're gonna do it from now on. I think I count 75 round bales here, which I don't know, that's not bad. It's not great. I was kind of hoping to get to 100. Uh, obviously we did not do that. I think we only made about six loads. I kind of quit keeping track, but if we've got 75 bales, then we probably made six loads. My little bumper rail that I installed in the last video here is actually working really nicely. And when I load the barn, it gives me a nice guide to know where to put this end bale. And if I get, you know, if I'm loading like this way, then it, it kind of just makes sure that everything at the end is straight and nothing is sticking out into this area where the cows can get to it. So 75 here out of a total of 300 that I'm planning to bring here, maybe more. I'm just assuming that my bale counter was right, but it looks like almost all of this will fit in the barn. Not quite. I figure that I'm going to need to store maybe about 25 bales outside, but that's not gonna be a problem because I can just feed those bales first. Putting the hay in the back of the truck ended up being, I think, a really good idea. I mean, so far nothing bad has happened. We haven't uh, tipped any bales off of there, and that would, I guess, be my main concern. But uh, being able to put three extra bales on the load has made a big difference, and I started thinking about how many bales I would have here if I would have done that right from the beginning. 
But I'll tell you, it really makes me want to get like an eight and a half or a nine foot flatbed on this truck. So then instead of just putting the three in the back, I could put six on the truck. And then if I go ahead and do my modification to this trailer that I meant to do this year before I started hauling hay, which was to flip the axles on the spring and basically make this a flat deck so that I don't have these fenders sticking up. And then that way I'd be able to get eight bales on the bed and then six bales on top of them. If I did both of those things, I'd have 14 bales on the trailer and then six on the truck. So I'd be hauling 20 at a time. That would really speed things up. And with the way, you know, my time is and the way fuel is getting uh, being so expensive, these kinds of things are starting to make a lot more sense of why I need to do them. For today, I think I'm gonna call it here because the weather is actually supposed to be nice again tomorrow. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and get as many of these bales moved over here as I can. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.